What is going on guys? We're right here today. I'd like to talk about what Xur has to offer this week. Of course, today is Friday, February the 11th. Uh, Xur is located in Nessus, of course, up on the tree. Uh, we This week we have the Graviton Lance, which is a great uh, exotic if you do not have this one yet. It's a really good uh, gun to have, especially now that Pulse Rifles we know are going to get a buff in the Witch Queen. Definitely uh, pick this one up if you do not have it. The Lucky Raspberry, which gives you improve, uh, improves your Art Bolt Grenade Chains. Also, the Mask of the Quiet One, which you gain ability energy whenever you're damaged, when critical uh, heal or on kills. Also, Winter's Guile. Melee kills increase your melee damage. Now, when it comes to the weapons, uh, Zer has this week, he have the Gnawing Hunger with Substance and Demolitionist. That's not a bad roll uh, at all. It's pretty decent. Uh, one, I actually have one of these. I really enjoy it. I have several different Gnawing Hungers that I've kept, but one of the ones I've decided to keep uh, going into the Witch Queen was one I had with Substance and Demolitionist. So, if you're Working with a grenade bill, this is not a bad one to have uh, kind of on you at all times uh, or if you ever really need something for void damage. Also, the last dance with quick draw and dragonfly, also another really good roll. Uh, the cold denial, which has grave robber and swashbuckler. The seventh seraph CQC with quick draw and vorpal. The Aikilos SR with no distractions and multi-kill clip. The temptations hook with burst guard, tireless blade, and vorpal weapon. And last but not least, the third axiom with hip fire grip and unrelenting. Now, when it comes to the different gear that uh, Zer has to offer this week, make sure you check these on all of your characters. I am on my hunter. We have a pair of arms here at, uh, rolled at 60. Not my personal favorite. I, I, I always try to go for recovery and discipline first. So those are not really uh, something I would pick up. But some of you out there may need some uh, arms that are, you know, rolled a little bit higher. So definitely give those a look. Uh, the Lost Pacific Chest does have some decent recovery intellect and strength of course we do have the cloak here this is probably one of the better roll ones it's not really high stats on a lot of other things but it is a 65 with 18 recovery 23 discipline and 12 resilience which is not bad whatsoever so definitely give that a look if you're looking for a helmet on the hunter and last but not least the lost pacific strides have 16 recovery and 12 discipline sad thing is they're only rolled at 58 so on the hunter in my opinion, if you're looking for recovery and discipline, the helmet is probably the best, your best bet this week. But make sure, like I said, you check these out on your Titan and Warlock as well to make sure, you know, there's not some good rolls for those characters. Guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this week uh, or what Zer has to offer this week. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.